Hi all, you all are welcome for the Moon Viscosity practice questions and answering sessions. Uh, so, in my last video, I uploaded uh, several questions regarding Moon Viscosity, and today I am going to discuss the answers for those questions. So, in my question list, uh, the first question was to plot moon curves for following rubber types so here you may all see there are five different types of rubbers are given here unfractioned unbleached grape rubber fraction bleached grape rubber yellow fraction and technically specified rubber finally the ribbed smoke shaped rubber so here are the abbreviations so before going for answering this question we will see some pictures of these rubbers so this one is for fraction bleach grape rubber it is white in color so here you can see unfraction unbleached grape rubber so it is yellow in color this is the yellow fraction rubber so it is more dark yellow in color so it is a very hard rubber so we will see some uh, detailed descriptions on these rubbers later so you can see here rss which is kind of sheet rubber so actually this is smoked and honey brown in color and this one is technically specified rubber tsr so these are called uh, block rubbers so these are mainly made from the field coagula so the hardness the stiffness of these rubbers are very much less compared to these types of rubbers so we will see um, what is the composition of these rubber before that i want to tell you that uh, natural rubber has two main components the first component is the rubber component that is basically one for cis polyisoprene polymer since the natural rubber is a natural product that we are taking from the heavier brazilian cis trees it contains non-rubbers means the materials that cannot be considered as cis polyisoprene so these non-rubber components are protein lipid metal ions, moisture, etc. So different types of non-rubbers are there. So these non-rubbers can affect the moon viscosity. We know the moon viscosity is basically governed by the molecular weight of the rubber, but it is known that these non-rubbers, for example, proteins can mainly affect for the moon viscosity of natural rubber types so we'll see how these non-rubbers and the rubber component affect the moon viscosity so first i would like to take the yellow fraction so this is a very hard rubber it contains more non-rubbers proteins for example so those are tiny uh, particles so they can increase the stiffness or the hardness of this rubber so compared to other types of rubber the yellow fraction contains somewhat less amount of rubber because this yellow fraction grape rubbers are mainly made from the skin latex and the fraction which is taken from the fraction bleach problem manufacturing process normally the average moon viscosity of this yf range from 85 to 105 then we'll go to the unfraction unbleached grape rubber so this contains somewhat more amount of non-rubbers but compared to the yellow fraction this can be low but in comparison to fraction bleached grape rubber the unfraction unbleached grape rubber has somewhat high moon viscosity so you can see the average range of 
uf ub's moon viscosity so friction bleach scrape rubber the non rubbers are removed during the process so we call that process as fractionation so the non rubber content of this rubber type is very less so compared to unfraction and bleach the fb rubber gives somewhat lower average moon viscosity values from 70 to 80 like that then come to the rss so this is basically same to the uh, rubber and non rubber composition of unfraction and bleach grape rubber but this is a type of sheet rubber uh, which is smoked during the process so this also has somewhat high uh, moon viscosity values sometimes it can exceed the moon viscosity of unfraction and bleach grape rubber you can see the average moon viscosity that ranges from 75 to 99 and technically specified rubber finally so I told that it is made from the field coagula so we apply high temperatures high cutting and shearing actions during the manufacturing of TSR so normally molecular weight will reduce and therefore those should show lower moon viscosity values so normally it ranges from 60 to 65 moon units okay based on this information we can see the yellow fraction has the highest moon viscosity value then rss then non fraction and bleach grape rubber then fraction bleach grape rubber finally the technically specified rubber so this should be the model answer for this question we can see the moon viscosity in the y-axis in moon units here the time in x-axis measured in minutes so yellow fraction has high initial torque value then rss thirdly the unfraction and bleach grape rubber fourthly fraction bleach grape rubber and finally tsr so that is how the initial torque of moon viscosity has been changed against these rubbers so now we know the basic or the typical shape of the moon viscosity curve moon viscosity ends at the fifth minute because we normally measure uh, the moon viscosity in four minutes testing time at 100 celsius temperature so yellow fraction has shown the highest value then rss then non fraction on bleach crepe rubber then fourthly the fraction bleach crepe rubber then technically specified rubber so the previous table gives the reason for this variation so this should be the model answer for the question one okay we will see the answers for the next four questions okay these are the questions so we need to draw the potential moon viscosity curve for b and c compound com compounds compared to compound a okay we'll see what are these compounds first so there are several compounds from a to g and here are the composition of these compounds if we take one for example the compound a contains 100 parts of rubber zinc oxide 5 parts stearic acid 2 parts processing oil and carbon black they are not available in the compound a so what is the unit of measure in these amounts here 100 5 2 here different you can see different amounts are there so these amounts are measured in parts per 100 parts of rubber by weight that is called phr so we use this phr as the unit of measuring the amounts of materials in the rubber formulations so here you can see if we take for example the compound g so here you can see there are 100 parts of rubber for that it contains 
5 parts of zinc oxide, 2 parts of stearic acid and 2 parts of processing oil, finally 60 parts of carbon black. Like that we can read the formulation. Okay. Now the first question is to compare these three compounds. We need to compare B and C uh, with respect to the compound A. So how do we determine the moon viscosity of these three compounds? The only difference among these three compounds is the amount of processing oil. A doesn't contain processing oil, B contains processing oil at 1 PHR loading level and C contains 2 PHR of processing oil. Okay, the basic principle we have to keep in our mind is once we include oils to rubber compounds, it reduces the viscosity value. Means when we increase the amount of processing oil in the compounds, it reduces the moon viscosity value. So then we will see the answer. So here you can see the graph X, here moon units and here is the time. So here the compound A, B and C. So A is the compound where no oil is available in that compound. B contains one part of or the one PHR of processing oil. So the viscosity of B should be lower than the compound A. And in the C compound, it contains more processing oil that is 2 PHR shows. Therefore, the C compound should show the lowest Mooney viscosity value. And also, this effect for the initial torque also. So the same pattern can be seen here. Now we have to compare the D and E with A. Now we know the composition of A. We'll see what are the difference between A, D and E. Rubber, zinc oxide, stearic acid amounts are same. The only difference is the D and E compounds contains carbon black. Actually carbon black is a kind of filling material that we are used in rubber compounds. So these are called fillers. Actually, the carbon black can increase the failure properties of rubber. It can increase the stiffness. It can increase the hardness of rubber. Means, once we incorporate carbon black like particulate or the powder form fillers into rubber compounds, it increases the compound's hardness. So, in other way, the carbon black like fillers can increase the viscosity so we have to keep in mind once the particulate materials like fillers are added to rubber compounds they can increase the viscosity of the compounds so then based on that fact here the a compound doesn't contain carbon black so it should show the lowest viscosity and D contains 30 so it should show somewhat high viscosity value compared to A and the highest Mooney viscosity value should be shown by the compound D. We will see the answer. So in the plot Y you can see the compound A which doesn't contain any kind of particulate fillers here the carbon black so it has shown the lowest Mooney viscosity value and the compound D contains 30 PHR and E contains 60 PHR of carbon black. So here the D compound contains 30 so it has shown somewhat higher viscosity value compared to A. The E compound contains the highest carbon black, con carbon black amount that is 60 PHR so the compound E has shown the highest only viscosity here and also it has effect to the initial torque of these Mooney viscosity curves in the same way. Okay, we will see the third question here. We have to compare F and G with A. So these are the F and G compounds. We know about the A, then we'll see what are the difference between F and G. 
the FNG compounds contain processing oil 1 and 2 as well as 60 PHR of carbon black in each of these. Okay, the compound A doesn't contain carbon black, so it should show the lowest monoviscosity value. And FNG contains 60 PHR of carbon black in each, so the since the particulate fillers like carbon black increase the viscosity of the compounds once they are incorporated in the compounds so these two compounds should show high moon viscosity values compared to a but what is the difference between f and g the f contains one phr of processing oil and g contains two phr of processing oil we know once we incorporate oil materials that reduces the viscosity value so then which compound from f and g will reduce the viscosity value in higher amount we know that when we increase the oil like materials they reduce the moon viscosity value more based on that fact the g compound should show lower moon viscosity compared to f we'll go to the curve z here you can see the a compound doesn't contain carbon black so it should show the lowest moon viscosity value compared to a f and g contains 60 phr of carbon black since the particulate fillers increase the viscosity the F and G should show high moon viscosity value compared to A. So it is represented here. Between F and G, the G contains 2 PHR of oil compared to F, where the F contains 1 PHR of processing oil. So more oils will reduce the moon viscosity value in higher amount. Since the G contains high amount of oil, it should show lower moon viscosity value compared to F. So we can see it here and the F contains less amount of processing oil. So moon viscosity of compound F should be high compared to the compound G. So same pattern can be seen for the initial talk of these three moon viscosity curve. Okay, we'll see the final question. We need to compare F and G with E. We need to compare these three compounds. We'll see the difference. Rubber is same, zinc oxide amount is same, stearic acid content is same, and the carbon black content is same. The only difference is E doesn't contain processing oil, but F and G contains processing oil where the F contains 1 PHR of processing oil and G contains 2 PHR of processing oil. We'll see the curve first. The plot is a dash shows the answer for this question. So we know the E compound doesn't contain processing oil but F and G contains processing oil. All of these three compounds contain 60 PHR of carbon black. So the amount of filler cannot affect for this moon viscosity curves. But the processing oil content can affect for the moon viscosity of these three compounds. Here the E doesn't contain processing oil, so it should show high moon viscosity value. Compared to that, the F contains 1 PHR of processing oil and it should show less amount of moon viscosity compared to E since the oils reduce the moon viscosity of rubber compounds. Compared to both of these, the highest amount of processing oil is there in the G compound that is 2 PHR. So the lowest moon viscosity should be shown by the compound G. Okay, 
this is how we can predict the results of uni viscosity by looking at the compound formulation the basic things you have to keep in your mind are the viscosity of the rubber compounds can be increased by the addition of particulate fillers and the viscosity of the compounds can be reduced by adding oils to the compounds so if we know both facts we can predict these type we can predict the variation of Mooney viscosity curves by looking at their composition of the compounds and there are several other things to learn we will discuss them in future videos i hope you will get something from my video please subscribe the channel thank you very much